Hello and how's it going everyone? It is Skullzy here with the latest gaming news, rumors, and speculation. Today I want to step away from wondering what new gameplay systems and mechanics Starfield will offer and instead touch on the top topic right now being discussed within the Bethesda community which is of course, when is this game going to be released? When is Starfield actually going to come out? Because basically from a week at the time of me uploading this video, we would have been playing the game in a better timeline in a better universe, but alas, the game was delayed during the E3 season the summer of 2022 and here we are, just as we were years ago, wondering when this game would be released. And on top of this, there is the potential for this game to get pushed back even further. So all this and more I'll be discussing in today's video and giving you my take on whether or not I believe Starfield could get delayed again. So let's not waste any more time and get right into today's content. First off, for those of you who are just now landing on Earth after a long stay at a United Colonies base somewhere, yes, Starfield did get delayed during the summer of 2022, shortly before E3 season. And yes, I know, it's it wasn't E3, but leave me alone. We all know what these showcases are supposed to be, even though E3 doesn't exist anymore, or hasn't existed, or will exist, it's hard to say. But even though it wasn't technically E3, E3 still lives on in spirit. But anyway... Bethesda announced that Starfield would be delayed until the first half of 2023, and interesting enough, right alongside the Starfield delay in literally the same message, Redfall was also listed as being delayed until the first half of 2023. Now this is interesting for reasons I'll get into here in a moment, but this came as a huge surprise to everyone because Todd Howard, shortly before this delay, in an IGN interview, literally said they are very confident with the November 2022 release date, and it was, in Todd's exact words, written in ink. Only it seems like Todd Howard didn't use enough ink and the ink has faded, but all jokes aside, a delayed game is always better than a game that's just released with problems and problems that the developers knew about and who they could fix. Uh, Cyberpunk is always the example people bring up and will always bring up. Uh, so in order to avoid being a meme and an, an example of how not to release a game early, like Cyberpunk is, Bethesda decided to not follow suit and to delay the game. Now we can speculate until the end of time or until mankind has actually achieved a status like they have in Starfield, exploring space and everything else, but at the end of the day we don't know why it was delayed, but it's always a good thing to delay the game. And Bethesda knew this and they actually took a hit on their reputation after being so confident with the original de release date to actually put quality first and make sure this game releases in the state they want it to release. So that's good. That's great. It, it sucks that we would have been playing the game a week from now and now we're not and now we don't know when the game will be released. But there is a certain month the majority of the community seems to think Starfield will be released in, and that is March of 2023. The reasoning behind this is solid and silly at the same time. It's solid because Bethesda has released a game in March before, a major game, and I'm talking about Bethesda Game Studios specifically here, but it's silly because this was a long time ago. The game I'm talking about is The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. It did have a March release date, but that was like the only one in a long time. Since then, we've had primarily only November release dates for the major Bethesda Game Studios titles with in October 1 sprinkled in there as well. So if anything, based on Bethesda patterns, March isn't the month we should be looking at. It is theoretically November or even October. But yes, Bethesda did say the first half of 2023. So during that time period, during uh, January until June, March does seem like the best candidate based on Bethesda patterns. However, I have my own take here, and this is based on some kind of a recent inside leak that's been going around. I haven't been able to look into this or verify if it's true, but enough people are talking about it that there might be some credibility to this, but according to some gaming insiders, Redfall is set to release in March of 2023, which is the date a lot of people are thinking Starfield will be released in. Now, normally a studio doesn't want to release two titles alongside each other during the same month, and yes, I know Arcane is making Redfall, uh, Bethesda Game Studios are making Starfield, but at the end of the day, they're both Bethesda Bethesda Softworks products, it might not make the most sense for them both to be released during March. Now, that could signify that Starfield may not come out in March at all if Redfall is, is released during March of 2023, but this rumor isn't verified in any way, shape, or form, so we probably shouldn't lend too much weight to that. Another option could be May of 2023 or even June. This would be the first time Bethesda Game Studios has really released a product uh, during that time period, but it might make sense based on the E3 season existing. 
interesting then all the buzz around gaming uh, at, the, at its highest basically in terms of new upcoming games and releases is always during the summer thanks to E3 so if they wanted to have a lot of attention on their game they could drop a huge release showcase and then say you can get the game now it's it's gonna be on sale it's gonna be released in like a couple weeks or something that would be huge in terms of marketing but in terms of business that would suck games normally don't sell that well during the summer at all in fact in terms of sales the summer is usually the least amount of gaming sales during the entire year but when is the best season to sell a game quarter four of a year meaning november october december and that is exactly when bethesda likes to sell games anyway starfield is their first new ip in over 25 years and in combination with that it's been todd howard's dream game since he discovered gaming as a kid he's been wanting to make a game like this forever so with that in mind they're gonna want starfield to have as much potential to be a success as possible which means a summer release and even a march release would not dictate that that would take away from those overall percentage chances of having a great launch. However, releasing the game in November would definitely increase those odds. Yes, Bethesda might take a little kick on the shin from the community by saying we're delaying the game until November instead of the first half of 2023, but at the end of the day, they haven't given a solid date yet. They've given a window, and usually when a game has a release date window like that, especially a big one which encompasses half of a year, it's more forgivable to allow a further delay, especially if they give you a solid date. If Bethesda says the game is going to be delayed a little bit beyond uh, the first half of 2023, but it will come out 100% on November. 11th of 2023 that's going to take away from any negativity or at least some of the negativity they could uh, have coming their way from the community by announcing a second delay and here's where my take comes in I kind of want that to happen. I know, I know, unpopular opinion. To be honest, I would have loved to play the game in a week. I would have loved it. I would love to play the game as soon as possible, but at the end of the day, I too want the game to have as much of a success metric as it can, and by releasing it in November, you give two layers of overall better success. You have a better product because you have more time to polish it and make it better, and you also have it being released during the best time period to release a game uh, during the year. So. I think the chances are there, the chances are pretty solid that we could potentially get another Starfield delay announced, but we will, in combination with this announcement, get a release date announcement as well for November of 2023. I would say this is my prediction, but people tend to put my predictions uh, up there with way too much weight than they should have. This prediction is not based on anything other than my own just opinion and research in the Bethesda patterns, and I kind of hope that this prediction will happen, so I'm kind of biased at the same time to believing it will. At the end of the day, we don't know when Starfield is going to be released until Bethesda gives us an official update, but here's the final topic I want to talk about. If Bethesda was to give us a major update for Starfield anytime soon, it would be in about a week from the time I uploaded this video on November 11th, 2022 on Starfield's original release date. That would make, that would make the most sense. People would be talking about Starfield on that day anyway. Why not try to take some of the potential negative conversations going on by people saying they wish the game would be out, saying Bethesda is bad, blah blah, you know how the internet is. Why not try to take some of that negativity and forge it into more attention on a new trailer? That would be the smartest thing to do Bethesda, especially when you've been so quiet with their silence fetish on suddenly stopping the Constellation Log monthly updates ever since the delay. We did get a couple updates along the way, including the recent dialogue video, but at the end of the day, Bethesda has slowed their marketing down, and if I were expecting them to release the game in March, we're less than six months away from that. That's usually when Starfield goes hard on marketing, so... We're in the dark again. We're floating amongst the void of the stars trying to find our path to Starfield's release date, trying to find our path back, back home. But to summarize everything I just said, in terms of my expectations, if we don't get something major from Bethesda on November 11th or at any point in time uh, before February of 2023, meaning nothing in November, nothing major in December, nothing major in January, I would say that's a huge piece of evidence that we will get a second Starfield delay, but fear not as alongside this delay we'll get an announcement with a November 2023 release date, and at the end of the day, 
that would be better for Bethesda in many reasons. It may not be the best thing for the community because we want to play this game, but if you look at it in terms of a long-term perspective and instead of just a egotistical short-term perspective, it is better for the community because they'll get a better product and it will be sold during a time when the game will sell better as well. But either way, that's everything I wanted to talk about in today's video. Let me know what you think about my thoughts on the game being delayed until November of 2023 down below. Let me know if it makes you angry. Let me know if you kind of agree with me. Let me know down in those comments. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to like the video so we can help get the algorithm to show the videos to new people and grow our little community here. Subscribe to join the community. Make sure you turn the bell on because YouTube doesn't like to tell anyone when I upload videos. And finally, if you want to get a permanent feature video uh, shout out, you can support the channel here on YouTube as an exclusive channel member over on Coffee or over on Patreon. Links are all down in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time. It, it just works.